What's up everybody welcome to another honest review video today I have this Doji S98 this one is a rugged smartphone I think this one is the most premium rugged smartphone that I have ever used yeah there are some other rugged smartphones which cost more than this but this is not about the price this is all about the performance outlook appearance design well before we start the video one request if you end up liking this video then please don't forget to click on the like button like and subscription button is over there please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel also one more thing don't just leave the video in the midway because there is something amazing and surprising somewhere in the video waiting for you and i think you will like that I like to drink Nestle from Nestle. Anyway, let's start from unboxing. Actually, I have already unboxed the product. So let me show you what things I have got inside the box and let us go through the testing process. Let's check how is the performance of this Doji S98. Inside the box, you will get the phone Doji S98, a very good quality USB-C to USB-C charging cable, 33 watt fast charger. Yeah, this is a good quality USB-C based charger. An extra display protector, one is already applied on the phone, so this is an extra. Doji have also provided a very thick user manual in different languages. You will also get a warranty card and a card describing the features of the rear display panel. Finally, there is a pry tool. Why do we need this? We need this to open the USB-C port cover and to eject the SIM tray. Before we start, let me show you something crazy. This Doji S98 is a rugged smartphone, but it weighs only 321.4 grams. This is a super light rugged smartphone and feels so smooth. Weight distribution is also pretty well managed. In hand, it feels so good. Maybe this is the most premium rugged smartphone that I have ever used. The rear panel is built with premium quality plastic. However, it feels so good like leather. Anyway, I don't think anybody would buy a rugged smartphone for its design. But this time, this design makes me feel like an impulsive teenager. There is nothing on top, it's totally clean. At the bottom, there is a USB-C port, primary microphone and speaker grill. Volume rockers and power button is on the right side. Fingerprint sensor is also on the right side, but it's not integrated into the power button. They have placed it in a lower position, which is a clever decision, cause it adds convenience. A 3-slot SIM tray and a customizable button is on the left side. There is a dedicated TF card slot. So you can use dual SIM and at the same time, you can also expand your storage. You can customize the left button. You can select any task or you can assign different applications. I have selected nothing for a single click cause sometimes I accidentally click that button. But for double click, I have assigned flashlight and for a long press, I have assigned my most favorite game, Real Racing 3. Talking about games, can we play games on this phone? Definitely we can. This is the first smartphone to have a MediaTek Helio G96. This is almost the same as Diamond City 700, but there is a difference. CPU is a bit weaker than Diamond City 700, but GPU is surprisingly performing a bit better. I have never felt any issue while playing Real Racing 3 or Shadow Fight 3. Very smooth gaming performance, but I wouldn't recommend playing Genshin Impact on this smartphone. Having 8GB of RAM and UFS 2.2 is also an advantage because most of the other rugged smartphones comes with 6GB of RAM and UFS 2.1. I have never ran benchmark on any other rugged smartphones. However, this one is different. I have checked 3 Mark Wildlife on this 2G S98. I am happy to see it has managed to get a respectable score. But what matters is real life performance. I have even played Call of Duty. It has very good FPS on Call of Duty. I was so excited to see 60 frames per second on Call of Duty Mobile. Let's talk about that night vision camera. It works fine and it's really nice to have autofocus. I'm truly surprised to see that Doji S98 has actually performed way better than its competitors. Doji has actually managed to get very impressive performance out of that Sony IMX350 night vision sensor. Well, there is a 64 megapixel main sensor from Samsung and 8 megapixel sensor for ultra wide photos. I have taken some photos of Lina with this Doji S98 main sensor side by side with a Poco X4 Pro. You decide by yourself which one has done better. I think the pictures taken with Doji looks better. They wanna say my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, 
sleep, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games. I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on this daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me. Okay, it's time to talk about the display panels. First, let's talk about that rear display panel. There is a dedicated section in the settings panel. You can enable or disable the rear display panel. Also, there are some other options like tap to wake the rear display panel or flip to wake the rear display panel. So you can choose whatever you prefer. You can check time, control music, receive or decline incoming calls, get alarm notification. Altogether, this is a very good addition. I like the quality of this display panel and it looks gorgeous. Doji S98 comes with a 1080p FHD Plus display panel. Even if this is an LCD panel, this one looks spontaneous, striking, attractive and beautiful. 60Hz refresh rate is good. I have never felt any lag, but 90Hz would have been better. Maybe I am asking for too much. Anyway, you check this display panel by yourself. I think it's amazing. Colors are vivid and vibrant. Never break, always fight, never quit. We're right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, jam, you're the bad, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kick, never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time Feel the pain, let the grind I could change, in my mind Pick a lane, commit and climb The only way, to win it like I never miss that fact Taking big swings, damn you like that Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fill I took the red pill, I know life's short So I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? Considering this is a rugged smartphone, sound quality of this phone is awesome and it goes very loud without any distortion. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time. IP68, IP69K rating is standard for any rugged smartphone. As this is a premium rugged smartphone, I had to check whether it can really survive my water test or not. Okay. You can see this has survived all of my harsh tests and this Doji S98 gets an A plus rating as a rugged smartphone. Clean UI without any lag or any extra tuning. This is what I like about stock Android. Doji S98 comes with Android 12 out of the box. This is very important for a rugged smartphone cause usually rugged smartphones don't come with the newest version of OS. And most of the brands don't even offer Android version update, but Doji is gonna offer at least one Android version update. So that's pretty cool. It makes this smartphone future proof. Yeah, I like this fingerprint sensor. Perfect placement, swift response. I've never felt any issue with this fingerprint sensor. It's really better that this is an independent fingerprint sensor not integrated into the power button. Doji S98 comes with a 6000 mAh battery. For a rugged smartphone, it sounds a bit low, but Doji S98 supports 33W fast charging, so you can recharge the phone faster. This one also supports wireless charging. I have managed to get 5 days of battery life while using as a secondary phone and 2 days of battery life as my primary phone. This is quite impressive cause I have been playing a lot of games on this smartphone while I have used this one as my primary device. At this moment, this is my choice of premium rugged smartphone. Considering its specification and performance, I think that $339 US dollars price tag is a really good one. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life.